rhythm. Yeah, you can feel it with your hands. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, this this whole idea of that the bio field, I know Dr. Marshall out of Austin, we're going to have him on this weekend. He talks a lot about the bio field and it sounds like you're in, into the same types of things. Um, I want to ask you a little bit about the, you know, getting into this type of, of uh, subject matter uh, about the Rife machine. And I, I think you sell those, uh, if I'm correct. Correct. And, and, you, bas- um, you basically, um, the technology was developed in the 30s. And it was based on Rife's in, um, fabrication of a, a special microscope, the universal microscope that stained the pathogens with light. Okay, and that and that's how he will determine the uh, mortal oscillatory frequency of the different pathogens. The mortal oscillatory frequency. Okay, oscillatory. In other words, every virus, bacteria, fungi vibrates at a signature frequency. Okay, and when you bombard it with a similar frequency, it explodes it, and it doesn't damage the surrounding tissue. So that would be similar to like something like a uh, a singer in a wine glass and, and shattering the wine glass. Is that kind of Correct. the idea? Okay. Correct. And so all of these viruses, and is there a, a, a list somewhere that you could find out what viruses uh, resonate at, w- at which frequencies? Oh, absolutely. If you go on the internet and do a search for rife frequencies, uh, you'll find sites that uh, you know, provide the exact frequencies for each pathogen. Now, is this similar to this? This type of stuff is just completely. I'm sure people listening probably have never heard of it, and I've I've known about it for quite a few years. But it's just it's fascinating, and it blows my mind how things like this can work. My wife and I, uh, a few years back, went to a doctor who had a Rife machine, and I th- I believe it was a Rife machine. Um, it might have been like a bio, some sort of biofeedback machine or something. But he had these two little circular uh, areas in, in the device and he was talking about how he could actually change uh, the results and heal people uh, with, you know, over long distances of, of area. So he was doing, you know, experiments with it and getting extraordinary results from with people who were, weren't even near him. Is that? Yeah, yeah, that's called subspace. Subspace. And yeah. basically how did, how that work? it locks onto your uh, uh, DNA code. It works because we have a similar uh, instrumentation, uh, and it, it's awesome technology. It's Star Wars. I mean, yeah. think about it. You have astronauts up in a capsule. Do you think that they're drawing blood up in space and giving them polypharmacy to cure them? <laughs> I guess no. no. I don't think so because <laughs> one good barf up in the capsule is going to turn off his uh, comrades. Right, right. Uh, Wow. So is this, um, I've heard over the years that there's a lot of issues as far as the government is concerned. Is that, is that true with the Rife technology? I've heard that, you know, you, you can't even search for that without being logged by, you know, by Google or whatever. Uh, Probably. Is, yeah. Oh, gosh. Well, the bottom line is, just think about it. it back in 34, um, Rife, under the auspices of, um, I think, uh, uh, which university was it? It was uh, either Stanford or I, uh, UCLA. I think it was UCLA. Mm-hmm. And, they, and they had top doctors um, that were monitoring the, the project. They had uh, 16 terminally ill cancer patients. Mm-hmm. And in, in 130 days, they cured every one of them with the frequencies. Say, say that again. 16 Teen terminally ill cancer patients were treated with the frequencies for 130 days, and every one of them were cured of cancer. Yeah, you cannot have that. If you're the, this, yeah, that that has to be suppressed, right? I mean, Well, we absolutely. That. Well, that's when it all hit the fan because within the next year, 11 research centers around the country that were validating Rife's technology mysteriously burned down. Now, come on. I mean, that, that's not an accident. Right, right. That is absolutely amazing. And the average person out there has never heard of a Rife machine? Well, the name's been expunged. It's not in the, um, you know, books. The physicians are never exposed to this. Mm -hmm. And then when it is brought up, they make light of it and, you know, uh, like shock people and and just, you know, uh, childish uh, behavior to try to downplay the uh, significance of this technology. 
Yeah, I mean, it makes sense if you're, you know, trying to hold on to your power, you want to make sure you, you know, suppress these types of things. Uh, and with Rife machines, I've heard that you can actually um, homeopathically imprint uh, things, you know, water and, and put, you know, something into your water and you can drink that every day for, you know, to cure, you know, diseases and things like that. Is that kind of how some people that have Rife machines in their home, is that how they use them? Well, it depends on how sophisticated of a unit that you have. Okay. Um, some units, like with our indigo system, we can imprint water or imprint homeopathic <coughs> and, um, and solve problems. You know, give an example. We had a, a patient in from Chicago that had internal trembling mm-hmm. for a year, and it was coming from Leviquin, which is a very nasty antibiotic. Okay. And so I had him bring in a, a uh, Leviquin tablet. I dissolved it and imprinted it and made a homeopathic remedy from the, the drug. Okay. Within 24 hours, the internal trembling was totally gone. Jeez, that's incredible. So, so you, you do homeopathy, energy medicine, dentistry. Whatever it takes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm one of these um, people that um, are a Y person. I've been flipping rocks for well over 35 years. I've been practicing over 42 years. The key is the answers are out there, Justin. Mm-hmm. You just, as Edward de Bono, the great psychologist, said, you have to dig lateral holes to interconnect the dots. You can't keep digging the hole deeper and looking for the magic surgical procedure, the magic chiropractic adjustment, the magic drug or vitamin or whatever. It doesn't exist. You have to define the underlying core issue and then address it with the appropriate therapy. 